to sleep the defence there. Gillespie trying to bust tackles again on the fringe of the ruck now. Ten metres out, Canterbury. Langmack. Dummying his way partially through the defence. The ball just popped straight up in the air. It's gone in goal. Tunks has dived on it. He's going to rule this has been touched by St George. Interesting decision, this. Plenty of enthusiasm shown from the skipper, Peter Tunks. And the big front row has come up with a try. Yes, we'll see it again. The pass went from Thomas out to Langmack. Now he fiddles the ball. That's one of his four days. He's uh, considered a ball manoeuvre. But the pass he tries to flick out goes almost anywhere. It's touched by the St George player there. Now Tunks is quite right. He's got onto the ball and he's grounded the ball with a correct downward pressure. And it is indeed a try to Peter Tunks, who's uh, a very quick thinking player. Here again, we watch the action as Langmack goes through. The pass is, well, it's an aerial sort of a pass. It was knocked down there by Gill, I think it was, and uh, knocked backwards. And Tunks is quick to the ball. And that counts as a try as far as I'm concerned. Peter Tunks, the restaurant owner, comes up with a try. The restaurateur. Yeah. Big taxi.